For the Module 10 Summative Assessment, we're going to be working with this uh, very large and complicated model that consists of a number of different parts. You can see down in here, this is the global carbon cycle. Um, and then that includes um, the uh, percent or, the, or the, the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere. That concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere then feeds into a climate model that tells us the temperature. And that temperature then um, goes into determining the uh, sort of climate damages caused by global temperature, global warming. <clears throat> Those climate uh, damage costs then affect the amount of money that we have left over to invest in the economy. So here's global capital. This is the whole kind of the, the heart of the economic model up in here. So climate damages come into play here. Another important uh, cost that comes into play are the abatement costs. These are the costs related to reducing carbon emissions. And so there's um, something down here called the emissions control rate that we'll fiddle around with. It represents essentially different choices we make about how much we're going to try to limit carbon emissions. That limits how much goes in the atmosphere, limits the temperature, and so on. But it costs money, so there's a certain abatement cost per gigaton of carbon that you are not emitting into the atmosphere. There are a whole bunch of other parts of this uh, global climate, climate and economic model, um, including something that keeps track of, of what uh, Northhaus calls social utility. Um, the global population here is sort of fixed, and th these are a bunch of things that just sort of sum up some of these economic um, uh, components of the model. So this is the, the big model. That's, that's behind the scenes. When you look at the actual model, you'll be seeing something like this, an interface where you're just going to change a few basic things. And, and for this uh, summative um, assessment, we're really just going to change the emissions control rate here, which is a, a graphical function of time. And in the next video, I'll explain how to um, make those